Hello ladies and gentlemen, I'm stealing Tiano's intro because I think that's like supposed to be the best form of flattery or something, but um, basically 0 0.19 is out and it was announced at the end of, ooh, no more launch pad tower thing and the runway is better but I can't tell on this screen. Anyhow, Tiamo was doing a live stream and then he, ooh, flatter variant. <laughs> it was most certainly not conceived when one of our engineers sat on an, on a standard OKTO. So, does that require more charge or less charge or I can't know? It's it's less mass and just it's just smaller. Anyhow, um so there's new stuff, obviously, such as this thing. Um how do I Gosh, I forgot the controls, I'm so excited. Also, oh, I hate my shitty computer because I can't show you the awesome graphics. Anyhow, TMO was doing a live stream and then he finished the live stream and then one of the devs came on and was like, hey, 0 0.19 is out. And I'm like, nah, don't believe you. I mean, I, did, I, didn't, I didn't not believe the dev, but the t people's friends, my friends, were telling me and I'm like, what? No. You're lying. But, yeah, it's here. Oh, wow, that thing, wow, that thing's tiny. All right, so we got the new rover body, um, and I, I just hid my capsule inside of said rover body. Uh, that's just a bicoupler. There's a loud car outside because fuck. Uh, that's, this is a broken, uh, a broken docking port to be used as a radial attachment point. Yes. And there's stack separators and, ooh, a really thin, large stack separator? That's cool. And then the tiny one is always, and I'm just, okay, there's the I-beam thing. There's, I'm just looking at all these things really quickly and I have no idea what I'm doing because, you know, I'm just, this is just released and I'm just like, oh my god. So, excuse me for being unusually shitty and that, that already existed. Whoops. Alright, let's take a look at aerodynamic stuff. Nothing new at first glance. Nope, nothing new. Utility. We have... Whoa! The batteries look different now. Okay. No, wait. That's a different kind of battery. Okay. That's like 400 instead of... This is like a super one of these batteries. Oh, I see now. It's actually quite a bit bigger. Huh, that's interesting. I really like the I really like this new model. I wonder if this is from KSPX. I I haven't really looked at that stuff, but the developer from KSPX was hired as I mentioned in a previous Rover Wheels video. Um sorry, I got distracted by giant Rover Wheels and smaller Rover Oh, tiny Rover Wheel and regular Rover Wheel. Yeah, so basically, um the first thing I'm going to do is build a mobile launch pad with these giant Rover Wheels and um and build a, a small rocket to get into orbit and that's gonna be what I'm gonna do in this first video but first I'm just you know looking through the parts as I do and I've looked through all the parts and I've determined that cheese muffins wait that didn't help anyone well anyhow here it goes nothing I'm going to go uh, do that stuff now I'm gonna do that off I'm gonna do the designing off off re camera record thing Okay, so as you can see, I've moved to the VAB, and as you can see, my ability to build rockets has been greatly degraded. Actually, if I had been recording like I was supposed to be a moment ago, but it wasn't for some stupid reason, then you would see why. I just remembered why it wasn't recording, because I accidentally hit Control and F12. Yeah, smart me. Anyhow, the debug menu has been changed to Shift F12, and I'm pushing that repeatedly. This, this is the noise of me pushing that and as you can see a debug menu is not popping up which means that because I changed the resolution it's like popping up somewhere off screen is what I'm guessing is what I'm guessing um, anyhow this this is so basically it's still having the bug it had previously where you couldn't place these properly on decouplers so I've been kind of oh oh wait wait maybe I can control Z Aha! So I've been kind of haphazardly placing these to get them just to work, just so I can make this uh, this rocket. This is going to be one of my shittiest rockets ever. I figured this will be fixed when I restart, but I don't know that. Um, also, here's a good example of... Where the hell did that go? 
Oh, it's down there, but I can't click it. See that? Yeah. Okay, gonna get rid of that. Yeah, so here's a good example of why I always use part clipping. Um, this is with part clipping off, obviously, because else, um, well, as I was just demonstrating, I couldn't turn it on to fix the glitch with not being able to place things on decouplers properly. But as you can see, um, with part clipping not turned on, it allowed me to clip these parts pretty massively. So this is why I say, this is part of why I say part clipping isn't really a, a problem, like isn't really cheating, because the game will already let you do it sometimes. Also I just noticed, this, because it's clipping, will explode when I decouple it. I didn't even think about that until just now. But actually, this probably won't even work. But it should be entertaining nonetheless. And I'm actually going to change the fuel system I was originally going to use um, as well because this isn't actually going to work as planned. Um, I was trying to set up asparagus staging, of course, to make an efficient burn. But um, that's simply not going to work for today's lesson. Lesson? Since when did I teach anything? Alright, so this is what they call rapid prototyping because I made it quickly and it sucks. No wait, no that's not what it is at all. Anyhow, apparently these giant wheels, or in fact any of these rover wheels, take up a lot of power to use. So I just shoved solar panels everywhere and assumed it would work. I just remembered that I need to set an action group from, for all of those or else this will be really boring. Also this crappy rocket probably won't even get in orbit, but we shall try anyhow. Alright, give me a moment to set up action groups. Also, I just noticed these wheels have a toggle motor thing on them, so I'm assuming you need that to turn them on and off, since apparently they use WASD to move around with, so, uh, stuff. Yeah, let's try that. Alright, so here we are on the launch pad. As you can see, the launch tower thing that used to be there has been clearly obliterated. Also, the runway looks really flush with the ground. That's cool. Um, are we rolling? Oh, for a moment I thought we were rolling. Probably because we aren't. Uh, Alright, action group one should deploy all those solar panels all over the place. Um, we should have all the power we're ever <laughs> going to need. Wow, that is clippy and glitchy as... Oh god, that, that annoys me almost as much as that car driving past just did. But um, I'm not going to worry about that. Instead, I'm going to hit W and... Oh my god, the thing almost flipped itself. Whoa, those wheels are powerful. Also, I did not need to toggle them. Also... I just blew up everything. <laughs> Let's try that again! Alright, so this time we're gonna try the same thing but with less explosions. Also, we're gonna try using these wheels without deploying the solar panels to see how quickly it drains. And as you can see, the tiniest taps and it drained a lot. Oh god, oh god, no! Launch into the ground. But this is Jebediah, he always survives. See? Oh, okay. You know, I'm beginning to wonder if I should have, instead of keep trying again and again, I should have just gone to the, uh, and, like, rotated this thing so it'll go down the ramp, since there's, like, a proper ramp to go down. Please don't be top-heavy, please don't be top-heavy, please don't be top-heavy and crash and blow up and explode. Oh god. Oh god! Jebediah did not just die right then. You thought you saw him die, but he didn't. Alright, so I finally got smart and turned the damn thing around, so here we- oh god, I almost- that would have been bad if I just flipped it right then. <laughs> I finally got smart! Flips it. Yeah! Smart! Alright, let's deploy all those solar panels and stop rolling. Whoa god, don't break! Don't break! I feel like I'm just starting out all over again. Of course, I know exactly why this is happening. I just, you know, am having fun, so... Alright, let's keep the speeds low this time. One meters per second, please! You're going faster than one meters per second! You are going way faster than one meters per second! Ah! Whew! Okay. Alright, I'm thinking we can handle this now. Deploying solar panels, turning very slowly. Oh god, what? Why is it? What? I, what? Oh, there's the slightest bit of a bump there because there's always a bump between this terrain thing up here and the bottom bit. Yeah, you see that? Um... Lovely. 
I didn't even see that. All right. So this time I have the ingenious plan that I'm just going to turn on the SAS, turn on the brakes, turn on any lights we have, throttle up, deploy solar panels, toggle the motors for some reason, wait for the solar panels to deploy. Waiting, waiting, oh, I guess they count as deployed, they're just rotating now, but they're done rotating by the time I finish saying that, so let's go! Um, you know, we had engines on this thing originally. The, those engines that are no longer there, yeah, those ones. They're gone now. That is an interesting issue to have with a rocket. Don't you think? You know, I should have put a launch abort tower on this thing. You know? Proper launch abort tower. Um, wait, 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 wait. Why are two of our tanks still attached? Hello, you were attached to decouplers. That means decouple. Seriously? <laughs> it looked like they were attached. I swear, Judge, I swear. Alright, so let's turn that off and let's start rotating randomly and eject. Whee! Oh god, <laughs> oh god, get off of the rocket. Okay, there we go. Lovely, beautiful. Bye bye, rocket. Bye bye. Bye bye, are you going to space without us? Space. Alright, and to check out the new Kerbal animations, let's jump off of this pod and woo! Yeah, dude, whoa. Oh, lag. Ah, woo. This is Jeb for you. See, he don't give a fuck. He don't give a fuck. And now he is a fuck. Wait, what? Anyhow, KSP 0.19. Go download it now. If you haven't already bought the game, it's $23. Should have got it when it was $15 like I did. Also, I'm screen tearing because I have a shitty computer. Speaking of... I know a lot of you complain about my computer having such bad graphics um, because I render everything on a potato because that's what I have for a GPU. No, seriously. Intel Integrated HD Graphics, which aren't HD. Um, bit of a n misnomer there. Yeah, this is a shitty laptop, basically. And there's there's my craft landing <laughs> in the background. Oh. I am easily amused. Anyhow, um, so I'm currently working on uh, getting a new computer, hopefully a desktop with powerfulness. And um, however, uh, oh, interesting, that ended the flight. Um, getting that new computer is going to be something that happens months from now, probably, because I need to make sure I can actually afford to. And by that I mean I need to beg money from people like you. No, I'm just kidding. I'm not going to beg for money for, for, from you. I can speak honest. All right, thanks for watching, etc., etc. See you with rovers in space and stuff. Good day. That's not my exit. Thanks for watching. See you in space. It has been too long since I made a video. ta -ra. Okay, well, I, as you can see, I've moved to the VAB, and uh, there's a, been a slight change in plans, uh, seeing as the editor is glitching and won't let me build a rocket. Also, the, um, the debug menu key has been changed from Control, Shift, Alt, and D to the right Shift and F12, or at least that's what I'm told. Um, I 